It's an issue, but I'm okay. I'm back at it with another video. This week's video is going to be my current favorites in beauty and skincare. I was going to do a monthly favorite, but my products change every month. These are the ones that have stayed constant throughout a couple months, so I'd say they're my favorites. So let's hop right on. All right, so the first items I'm going to talk about is skincare because they're the least ones I have. Um, my favorite cleanser for the longest time has been the Clarisonic Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. This cleanser is so nice. It leaves your skin feeling so clean, and I love that. I haven't had a cleanser in a while that's made my skin feel very clean like this one does every time. Um, my favorite beauty cleanser that's been for a while. I do love my Clarisonic, do not get me wrong, but I do like this one more because it is like, um, silicone? Yeah, it's like a silicone, and this one is very easy to wash and clean, and you don't have to constantly move. This is my favorite exfoliator. I use this in the mornings, not every morning, but most mornings when I want to exfoliate my skin and make it feel very refreshed. I use the Tony Moly Latte Art Cappuccino Cream in Scrub. It's really great. I love this product. It is $15, but a little bit goes a long way. And I love how it has the little spatula at the top so you can apply it to your face really nicely and evenly. And I love how it's just so much detail put into it. I love that it's like a coffee mug. It's so um, cute. I use a beauty blender for foundation and I have mini ones for concealer for my under eye and concealing zits and whatnot. But my favorite way to get my beauty blender wet is with this product that is $3, super affordable. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. It is $3. You can find it at Target, CVS, Walmart. It's at a lot of drugstores. And I spray this multiple times. This is my second bottle. I've gone through the one bottle and it lasts me a long time. So it's honestly not that much. Instead of rinsing it with water, I get the one that has tea tree and aloe because it's really good for your skin. So I think it's even better than just putting water on your beauty blender. So yeah. On to face powder. I've gotten into the trend of baking. I bake my concealer all the time. It's so good. It makes your concealer last all day. And I use this powder religiously um i saw it first on patrick star i don't know if any of you know about him but he's a really big makeup beauty guru on youtube he's really good and he used this, the original formula air spun loose powder face so i got this you can get this at like walmart or cbs so i got it it's like eight dollars and it's a big thing of like powder loose powder and i use this to bake my face and my makeup stays flawless i used it today and I've been wearing my makeup for a little while, and it still looks pretty good. The concealers I've been loving this, well, not this month. I've been loving for a while is these two. This one I've been loving for almost a year now. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I don't know how many I've gotten of these, but I am in the shade Classic Ivory. I like this for my under eyes to help with, like, discoloration and under eye bags. This color is really good for me. And then I love the e.l.f. Um, light Beige Concealer. It doesn't really have a name. It just says e.l.f. and it's their little concealers. This one's $2 and this is like $2.99 I believe. Or at least where I get mine is $2.99. And they're really good concealers. This one I know has been compared to the MAC concealer in the little glass container. I don't know what it's called exactly. But it's really good and it's very affordable if you're on a budget. Now onto blush. I have two blushes that are tried and true. I use one of them at least a few times a week. It's very rare I switch out my blush, but these are always my go-to. The first one is by NARS. This is NARS Orgasm, which everyone talks about. It's such a good blush. I love the shimmeriness with it, and it's really great to give your skin natural, healthy glow. If you're really looking for that, this is a good blush. And then my other favorite is by Dior. It is 846 Contour Blush. It is such a pretty matte blush. If you don't want a shimmery, this is what I go for. I usually go back and forth. I will use other blushes. I love Benefit Standalion, but these two are my 
now has been this and I don't wear lip products too much I usually do chapstick but I have been loving a nude lip with gloss and if you know me personally I hate lip gloss I hate lip gloss I hate the feel of it it's so gross but the one I use is really good I know there are more affordable ones so if you have a better one that's cheaper use that one this one was gifted to me so I use it for that reason I use the NYX nude lip liner this is what I use. I line all my lip. That's what I'm wearing right now, actually. It's such a pretty shade. So I line my whole lips with it, and then I like a glossy look with it. And I don't know why I started trying this, because I hate gloss. But I was just grabbing... I grabbed my gloss one time, and I was like, I kind of want a more shiny look to this whole matte lip. So I grabbed my Fendi gloss, and I just added a little bit. And ever since then, I've been loving a glossy nude lip. Little beat up sample size. <laughs> That I've had for the longest time if you can tell like it's all banged up and I've started hitting pan so I finally went out and I bought a big size because I am so obsessed with the hula bronzer it's a really great cool tone one it doesn't look too orange I'm wearing it right now I don't know if I'm the best at contouring but I did a little bit today I had to take a picture so I wanted to look really nice so yeah now on to my favorite palette my favorite eye palette i've been reaching for this so much this month and last month that it's become my favorite palette and i always grab towards it it's the charlotte palette in bloom i love this palette one the biggest mirror ever can you see yourself yeah so these are all the shades if you can tell funny girl sweetheart smarty pants jet setter and flower child are my like most used but i um i do use um charmer and i have used some of this but the shade did break sadly but honestly it's not my favorite but um regardless i have used rebel and leader 2 and firecracker honestly this palette is really great there's only these two really dark shades i really wouldn't use they're probably better eye eyebrow shades but um this has been my favorite palette. I use this for work all the time and for simple eye looks and my everyday eye look, which I am wearing right now. Um, I'm going to make a tutorial on that, I think, because it's really simple and it's really pretty and very wearable to many events. So look forward to that, but I use all the shades from this palette. So now the next product I'm going to talk about, I only like, like my favorite out of all of them is um, Crushed Pearl. And if you know about the Anastasia Glow Kits, they're amazing, one. Two, I do love all the shades, but the one I'm always reaching for, the one I always love is Crushed Pearl. This one right here, I'm going to swatch this one. Do you see that pigment? It's so, like, icy. It's probably do a better swatch, yeah. So icy and super pretty. I love this i wear it all the time it's on my cheeks right now super pigmented they're super nice so that's my current favorites at the moment i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching i'll catch you guys next week bye guys